Hi, in this tutorial I'll continue editing this image and create some falling pieces but before I do that I just want to mention that the images that I use here uh, the image of the wall and myself and some other images used in other tutorials are now available to you to download for free and link is in the description and you can use these images to exercise what you see in the tutorials so let's continue here and unchain these layers and you see that here we have some transparency which is a result of this drop shadow on the wall but for now I'll leave it like this and when we finish I'll crop it let's go back here and uh, let's zoom a little bit like this and grab the free select tool and make a selection for the piece let's say something like this and create a new layer and um, go back here, control C to copy, and go here, control V to paste. And now let's anchor this floating selection. And the next thing we'll do is go to filters, lights and shadow, drop shadow, and use this offset zero, blur radius 30 and opacity 70, click OK. And uh, here is our piece. And now let's rename this to one. And this one to one S. And uh, duplicate this two times. And again, put this layer on a uh, multiply just like we did with the wall. And this one on hard light. And let's chain them together these three the layer above uh, stays unchained and now grab the move to move the active layer click here and use the arrows the arrow that points down click six times to create a thickness for this piece and let's now chain this layer too and just move this piece anywhere we want somewhere here or let's say over here Now I'm not going to create any more pieces here, you get how this is done, but I want to mention that you can now merge these four layers together or uh, move them down behind the layers of the wall here. And uh, this will achieve the effect that this piece will look like it's behind the wall and you can move it a little bit behind here and it's above the image. So it will look like the piece is falling from the wall but it's falling behind it and uh, this is something you can do if you like and so that's it for this tutorial and in the next one finally I'll, I'll do some text effects here using the clone tool and the path tool and some other options so that's it for now bye